So, of course, Thanksgiving, just a couple of days away. That means many of us are heading home to Grandma's house. But increasingly here in the district, a lot of people don't have a home. That's right. WUSA 9's Evan Koslov joins us now from DuPont Circle with some new statistics on homelessness. Well, hey there, guys. Yeah, good morning. The numbers were formally released last week. And while they show that the homeless population is going down nationwide, it's quite the opposite here in the district. It's breakfast time here at Thrive DC, and a large group of homeless are there to get some grub. That includes Michelle Heidier, a diagnosed schizophrenic and a mother who's been battling homelessness for a decade. I'm a single mother, so it is definitely hard. It, a gallon of milk costs almost $4. It's tough to make it in DC. DC is kind of for the high priced, high roller people. And Heidier is not alone. According to data compiled by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, there are about 1,000 more homeless people on the streets of DC this year than last year. That's a spike of more than 14%, despite the fact that homelessness is down by 3% nationwide. It, it isn't any surprise. Alicia Horton, the executive director at Thrive DC, says the rising cost of housing is the main reason DC has had such an increase. DC. Um, has experienced um, a uh, real estate bubble that has helped fuel this problem because it is almost impossible to live in this city on a minimum wage uh, job or even a living wage job. All right, now stick with me, guys. In the 6.30 hour, I'll show you another interview I had with a homeless man who said that he left a family, a house, and a job for a religious journey. He now chooses to be on the streets. He calls himself a wanderer. It's a fascinating interview that's coming up at 6.30. Reporting here in DuPont Circle, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9.